Hello everybody and a very warm welcome back to Tony Northeastern and we're getting straight into it. Um, we're here at the bench and as you can see I've got some card components already pre-cut and this is for a shed. Not just any old shed, this is for Stephen of Heritage Railway. Um, um, a while back he asked me if I could make his shed to go on his layout <laughs> and um, I, sa I said yeah if you send me the dimensions and some pictures I'll, I'll have a go and um, that was two years ago so I really do apologize Steve I am finally getting around to making your shed and um, I'm using your dimensions and as you can see I've cut the base two side walls the back wall and the front um, of your shed. Um, here is a picture of the shed. As you can see it's not a straightforward shed as you think. It measures 16 foot by uh, 10 foot deep I think he said. So it's quite a big shed compared to a standard shed you would get. Anyway so I've made a start. Um, it might look simple, but there's got a, there's a lot of detail involved. So let's just see how we get on. Right, so looking at um, Stephen's photographs, the shed is of a breeze block construction, which means there's going to be a lot of scribing involved. So that's what I'm doing now. I'm just doing roughly one and a half millimeters at a time just scribing the card hopefully to create the breeze block effect but I'm only going halfway up on the sides because um, it's a lovely shed what he's done he's wooden panelled half of the sides halfway up and along the front as you'll see in the photographs. I'm going roughly about halfway up which is roughly about there which is 44 in the double O scale, it's 4 foot in the O scale rule so I'm going to do the same there. So what I'm going to do I'm just going to transfer the lines across so that the markings are in the same place and I'll do the same at the front there. So I'm doing that with the opposite sides, as it were. And then going again. And I will do that on the front as well. Right, so that's all the scribing done. Um, when I was speaking to Stephen, he said that the back had no um, wooden panelling on, so hence why we've completed that with the breeze blocks. Um, however, the side walls have left room for the wooden panelling, which we'll go on to in a minute. Um, but before we go on to it, I just want to show you something that I've added inside for you. Now, as you can see, it looks like a track plan with a little tiny platform and I will paint that up um, so if you decide to shine a torch through the windows you'll see a small baseboard on the back wall with a couple of tracks and a platform obviously it's um, it's a new layout so it's a work in progress as you would say so that's what I've done um, for detailing wise inside the shed uh, you know me I always like to add a little something in buildings. Um, right, so I'm scribing paper yet again. Um, this is for the door and the um, panelling on the front. So I'll just cut that out and glue that to the front of that. So it looks like a, the door and the panelling like we saw in the photograph earlier. So you see that's the front finished. Um, I've scribed the paper which includes the wooden panelling and the, the door and the, the windows are finished so this is virtually ready to go together. Um, 
what I've done with the the <laughs> baseboard is I've given it a little bit of greenery and uh, I've painted the the uh, um, sky blue as well so basically all these parts are ready for gluing together so now the fun begins so I'll start off with the, the back wall I might have to add a little bit of strengthening card just to make sure um, it stays together um, it's just gluing edge to edge at the moment hopefully the glue will take hold um, it's just all this doing this at the moment, just gluing the edges together. We'll leave that to set. Now that it's stuck together, it's beginning to look like a shed. Um, I'm just beginning now to paint the inside. Um, Steve was telling me that the, the walls inside are blue, so I'm just painting them up blue. And uh, yeah, it's been a good little little build. This makes a change from building buildings. Well, it is a building really, but it's a, a shed for a model railway, or a model railway for a shed, <laughs> something like that. Just getting in them corners, trying not to touch too much of the green. I've just painted the green. Uh, the floor, well, you're not going to see that, I don't think. So I'm not going to bother painting the floor. But uh, I'll just do the, the walls for now. Right, so far, so good. What I've done here is I've scribed some more paper for the panelling, um, which goes along the sides, like so. And uh, with the return on the edge gives that a little bit more strength but that's how it is on this in the shed or on the shed so yeah so that's ready for gluing let's have another look at Stephen's shed um, as you can see you can see the, the wood panel in there coming around the corner so I've done that just to hide the cardboard edge um, now I just <laughs> realized that is uh, this has been plastered uh, over the uh, breeze blocks so I'll, I might have just to put an extra layer of paint on um, on for that so we've done the overhang now I've stuck a bit of card on for the overhang so it's now time to paint this shed up trying to match the colors um, of the shed so I'm going to use matte 63 for all the pine wood, uh, that's including the door as well, so we'll see how that looks. We may have to turn it down a bit because it looks a little bit on the bright side, but uh, we shall see. So we'll just add this where I think it is needed, which is uh, along the edge of the overhang there. As you can see, it is quite light, but we can darken that down. So we're just painting all that up, and the door, and all the panelling. Once this is done, I can then fit the glazing. So we'll just do the door, just following the grain of the wood there. And uh, the pan window panes as well. 
Might have to add two codes to this, but we shall see. Actually, I don't think I have to do anything at all to this, because um, the way it's drying out already, I think that will look okay. little tip for you when you're painting wood, always paint with the grain and that way you, the true effects of all your um, scribing really does come through. As you can see with the door and the panel in the see the uh, paint is finally coming through. So I may have to rub a little bit of that off. Um, as it dries see how I'm going against one with the grain all the time and by doing that you can take a little bit of that paint off if you've got too much on so just painting the window frames up as well Is it, it looks brighter on the camera than what it does in real life. Now one thing I didn't do with this, I didn't do the super glue trick which hardens the paper. Um, I didn't think it was necessary because as you can see the the green texture of the wood is coming through. Might have to add some weathering powders to darken that down. Right, so that's the pine work done. Now I'm going to concentrate on the brickwork. Now I've used two colours to try and match the colour of Stephen's shed, and that's a matte 60 and a matte 37. Um, roughly 50% each and see what this goes on like. Mm, looks a bit too dark. Oh, but we shall see how it dries out. Mm, I don't know, I don't know how, how it looks on the camera. Yeah, it definitely looks too dark. But so I might have to add a little bit more red to it. so. Instead of adding more red I've added a little bit of this matte 63 and I tell you what I think I've got the colour bang on. Now that is a lot lighter. Yeah I'm happy with that success. Yep definitely. Just before I uh, put the roof and the glazing in, I just thought I'd add a few tiny, tiny trees to his layout. So I'm putting just a couple of tiny dabs of PVE wood glue in there, in the corners. And I'll just drop a little bit of a scatter in there. Just to, so he's got a couple of trees. Just to add that little bit of realism. So I'll put a little bit of that in the 
PV in the corners. I'm just going to try and put in a little bit of this scatter. Just a big, tiny bit out. Just push it into the corners. Just looks like there's a few trees there now. I don't think you see that. There you go. I'll do the same to the other corner. Might seem silly this, but uh, you know me. I just like to try and add that little something. You never know. Might be able to see it. Might not. But we know one thing for sure. It's there. Right, so now that that's done, I think it's time to add the glaze on the roof. And uh, that should be it for then, I think, for now. That should be it for detail wise. There you go, a couple of trees on the side. <laughs> and uh, here's the roof. What I've done with the roof is I've added some um, rafters. Um, so that will go on the inside. And then that will finish it off so the next time you see this it will all be painted up and done right so here it is with the roof on and what I've done is I've toned the wood down a little bit because it was too too bright and uh, yeah so it looks like the wood has aged well I guess it would have done really because uh, it's been two years in the making so So there you go, that's the, the shed, fit enough for a heritage railway. Now then, can we see what's inside through the window? So let me put it down um, and see if we can see anything visible inside. Right, so I've just placed this shed on the layout, um, propped up against the fence. <laughs> just so we can try and see what we can see with natural light as you can see we can there's the trees there and there's the platform and we can just make out the trees in the other corner so yes we can see the internal details of this shed and uh, yeah it's, bit, it's been an interesting little project and uh, we shall get this off to you as soon as possible, Steve, because I'm sure you'll be itching to get this onto your layout. Anyway, I think that's enough waffling from me. Right, hope you've enjoyed the build, everybody, and um, we'll see you again soon. Thanks again for watching. Bye.